Hello guys, today I wanted to show you a very simple trick of removing unwanted glare or oily shine from your videos in DaVinci Resolve 18. This is before and after. And today's video will be very quick and I will show you how to do it in both Studio and 3 versions of Resolve and I'm hoping that you're gonna love this one. Let's start! And we are in the color tab and this is our clip. I found it on Bexel's videos and I haven't made any corrections to it as we don't need it for today. And here I've also created two serial notes as on the first one we will be reducing the shine by applying phase refinement available in the studio version of Resolve and on the second note we will be isolating the shine and using a different technique. So if you are a studio version user go here to the effects and search for the phase refinement. Then just drop it onto the node. And in order to make it work, we have to analyze the clip first by hitting this analyze button. And the software will do its work recognizing and tracking all the elements of the phase. Okay, now we can untick show overlay to be able to see what we are doing. And normally, if I was actually using more phase refinement features, I would change Beauty Automatic to Beauty Advanced, but we are not doing any beauty work today. So all we need to do is to go here to Shine Removal and let's slide it to the right. And this is before and after. And let's play it. Looks perfect. It's ridiculous how simple it is with the studio version of Resolve. But if you have only a free version, there's a few more steps to do, but it's also quite simple. So let's disable this note and let's move to the next one, where I'll be showing what you can do in the free version. So the first thing to do is to isolate the brightest parts of the clip. So I'll grab my qualifier from here and I'll select them. Okay, and let's turn the highlight on to be able to see. And now we'll use the luminance slider to improve the selection as we want to highlight only the brightest parts of the image, not the darkest parts. So you see when we move it to the left, we include darker parts of the face and we don't want that. So let's move it back to the right. Okay, this will work. Then I will denoise the selection here. And then I will clean it black and I will blur it a bit. All right, and we also should use the power window to isolate only the face as we have highlighted some parts of the clothing as well. So let's go to the power windows, then let's grab the ellipse and let's place it over the face. And then obviously let's go to the tracker and let's track it. All right, now I'll turn the highlight off and I'll turn off the ellipse. And the first thing to do is to go here to the primary wheels and we will decrease midtone details. Okay, and this is before and after. And the other thing we can do is to use the gamma wheel and to darken the midtones a bit, like this. And again, before and after. And now let's compare both results achieved in the studio and free version. Thanks so much for watching my videos guys, I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon!